Nicole Scott here for Netbook News, and here we've got the Koopa X11 tablet. Now this is a 10.1 inch tablet running Windows 7 Professional, uh, 10.1 inches as I mentioned, and has a screen resolution of 1366 by 768. So here's the box, here's the tablet. Uh, this is running a Intel Atom uh, Oak Trail CPU at 1.5 gigahertz. I believe it's the uh, Z670 processor. Now, if we take a, let's just take a quick look through the box for a sec. So here's a little package. Oh, we get our own little cleaning cloth. Uh, here is a quick start guide. And this is your warranty card. All right. And here we've got, what do we have in here? Oh, oh, there we go. Here is the digitizer pen and it comes with batteries. We will be playing with that a little bit later. But you can see it comes with three extra tips in the top there. I'm not sure what that metal band is for, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. And here are the two batteries, and here's the actual pen. If you want to take a slightly closer look at the pen. So, obviously this is a active digitizer. So we're, we're actually able to use a capacitive and a digitizer pen with this screen. So this is actually a great little bonus that comes with the tablet. Now, as far as price points go, let's just look in here. And then in here we have your CPU. Now, this tablet's actually pretty impressive because it is a 52 watt hour battery, which is going to give us 10 hours of battery life. And it is uh, 10 hours of battery life in actual. Uh, I haven't done any official battery testing on it. But so far, so good. I mean, it comes up as 10 hours and 34 minutes on full charge, and it seems to go down as expected. So now I am going to be showing you a Windows developer preview. Uh, I don't have Windows 7 Professional loaded up on it. Now, this is the picture to unlock. Now, I should have picked a photo with 10 points of interest, but this is all I did for now. All right, I remembered my password. I've actually forgotten it a few times and tapped on her face. So that seems to work out. Now, this is the Windows 8 Metro UI. I do like the updating um, widgets, although I think it does take a little, little while to fetch the data. Uh, incidentally, this Windows 8 developer preview has actually just gotten an update today. Uh, increase on security, but nothing, uh, nothing else that I've been able to notice. So you see here in Toronto, it's quite cold. <laughs> so now you swipe from the side. I'm sure you've seen um, Windows 8 in action before. Uh, if we hit there, we go to the traditional Windows 7 desktop, which definitely comes in handy. To get back, we simply press the start button here. I think that that's going to be one of the most uh, most impressive features of the Windows 8 tablet as of yet. Uh, now if you haven't had a look at any of these apps, uh, this is the Twitter app. All of these come standard with the Windows 8 developer build for us to check out. For some reason I can't get the timeline to load. So I mean things still are fairly glitchy. But that's fine. We also get whole bunch of other apps that come with it. Now the Windows 7 uh, version does come with 10 point multi-touch. Uh, in the Windows 8 developer preview uh, we're only able to recognize two. So let me do that. Alright. But now uh, I'm sure that you've seen a few of these these apps before. This is one of the games.
pretty simple. So it does come with a host of other little apps and some other little fun things. But let's take a quick look around the tablet. Uh, one of the nice features is, is that when you load this up, um, when you're hitting start, you can actually navigate through the um, oh, boot screens with these two buttons, these being the arrows and this being enter. So that's quite, it's kind of a nice feature to have so you don't need to go running for a keyboard. Uh, we do have a fingerprint swipe here. Around the side we have nothing. Around the top we have a fan. Around the back we have another fan. This is the side where all the ports are. So here we have the PSU, two USB 2.0s. Here's your headphone jack. There's your microphone. Here's mini HDMI, and here's your 3G card, which is very handy. Some other nice little features are, this is the Wi-Fi on and off, and what's the other one? Ah, so this one's Wi-Fi on and off, and this is 3G on and off. And at the bottom here, we have some speakers. So that's just a walk around of the tablet itself. But so far, I'm actually pretty impressed with the way that the Metro UI uh, works. It's really been my first time interacting with it. Let's see if the piano pulls up. I was getting a little bit of um, loading. It was just loading the last time I tried to play this. But I, I think you can see it on the screen where you can see where I've been touching. So there is this residual. So this just continues to load. Maybe I'm just too impatient and uh, hit buttons too quickly, but let's see. Now, this is another good feature that, I, that I'm really liking about uh, Windows 8. Uh, it gives you all these you know, touch-friendly touch features here in the control panel but if you go down to the end you can say more settings and then it'll bring you to the traditional desktop control panel where you have all the features and all the security and everything that you're looking for so I mean this is definitely something that I'm really happy with and you want to go back to the touch trailing UI flips back right here now all of these apps are in HTML5 so it's pretty it's uh, you know taking advantage of what's going to be the future um, occasionally I do have some Wi-Fi issues uh, where it tends to just cycle out after it goes to sleep and I have to reboot it. But I mean this is the developer preview so all of these things should just be taken with a grain of salt really. Uh, the full version is going to be coming out or the, the um, what's it called, the release candidate is going to be coming out in February. So th this should fix a lot of the glitches um, about the about the Wi-Fi and some of the glitches that we're seeing with the UI occasionally. But uh, th as far as this tablet goes running Windows 8, I really, really like it. Um, the Intel Atom Z670 processor in some of the Windows 7 tablets that I have tried gets kind of hot. Um, the only heat points that I have found on this tablet are here around the PSU uh, when it is charging and I am using it and only this corner tends to get quite hot so when you're when you're holding the tablet with both hands um, the heat points are no well they're kind of near hands up in here but really when you're holding it usually from the bottom um, you don't really get sweaty palms because of it. So, so far I'm quite liking this tablet. And, I th you know, get ready for my review of it running the Windows 7 Professional build, which, which, you, which you can actually buy right now. Oh, and as far as hard drives go, I believe this one's running a 64 gig SSD. Also comes in 128. I believe it is 699 up to 969. So... Definitely worth keeping your eye on for the price point. It is very high, considering uh, the Kindle Fire is coming out at 2, the Acer Iconia is down to under 3. But keep in mind, for a device that comes with the pen, uh, it's still competitively priced. Um, we're seeing digit 
screens with digital touch pens are generally coming up around the 5 range. So this is a little bit higher, but Windows 7 tablets in general are a little more expensive. So this has been a quick look at the Coupa X11 running Windows 8. And I'm Nicole Scott for Netbook News, taking a quick look at Windows 8 tablets.